And for the first time tonight, we're seeing how that one-year-old boy, seriously injured at his daycare, is recovering back at home. You can see how incredibly resilient this toddler is to be smiling after what he went through. Suffering injuries that put him in the hospital for days. Our Emily Longnecker spent the evening with Bess, uh, baby Jesse's family. She joins us tonight at 11 with how his parents are juggling their frustration and confusion over what happened with helping their son heal. Emily? Well, Scott, I just got back from visiting baby Jesse at his home tonight where he's back with his mom, dad, and siblings. His parents tell me the one-year-old has no permanent damage. As little Jesse continues to heal, his parents' focus now is getting justice. <laughs> play with his trucks. You wouldn't know one-year-old Jesse Harris just spent two harrowing days in the hospital. Until you look at his little face, still swollen, cut, and bruised. When I see him, I cry because of all of that. Even when he smiled. When he smiled, I get upset because that's, that's not my baby face. A face you can see in these pictures looked even worse on Monday. This is how baby Jesse's parents say they found their little boy after an employee from their daycare called them, saying the one-year-old was bleeding and bruised in his playpen. Jesse's parents say the daycare claims another child there, just two years old, hurt him. I don't, I don't think a two-year-old could do this. We were there Wednesday afternoon when the family left Riley Hospital for children with baby Jesse in their arms. That's when these parents talked about those same doubts over what really happened to their son. I want to know if she left, was she there, did she hurt him, and then tried to cover it up. <laughs> now, even with their little boy safely at home, the anger and pain of questioning who really caused his injuries are still there. I don't want this to happen to any, any other parent. Like, the, the pain that I feel as a father and the pain that she feels as a mother, it's, it's an indescribable pain to, to, to walk into a daycare and just to see your son bloodied up and beaten. That's why baby Jesse's parents say they can't imagine sending him to any daycare anytime soon. He's going to be right here home in my arms or his dad's. Right now, that's the only place where these parents feel their baby is safe. Mm, I love you. I love you. At this point, there are no arrests or charges in the case. These parents are anxious to see someone held responsible for their son's injuries. The road to healing is still a long one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, mom and dad say that doctors are watching baby Jesse's left eye pretty closely mm. because it's still continuing to swell, so they have... Quite a few doctor's visits ahead of them, but they say they're just happy to see him yeah. getting back to his normal happy self. You could see him there playing with his trucks, yeah, having a good time. Good to see him smiling. We're going to continue to follow this important story. Absolutely. Thanks, Emily.